I want to take you back to what the Lord talked to us about on 7 2021 first. And you'll, you'll recall this. Because I once the Lord spoke to me Thursday, I recalled the one on 7 2021. He said, As sure as the moon shines by the tip of my finger, you will see my glory. My people will see my glory. What is the glory of the Lord? I am your Savior. I'm your healer. For the people will come by the hundreds, the thousands, the hundreds of thousands to the altar to the Lord. Now I want to take you back to 627.21. On 627.21, this is what I saw through the Spirit. I saw people carrying baskets full of wheat scrappy. He said, collect your baskets, fill them with wheat. For the summer, you have abundance. Fill your baskets full of wheat, for in the winter time you will need provision. And you will say, Lord, where is my provision, my abundance? Did I not say to fill your baskets, said the Lord? For my children with knowledge and guidance will I fill. I will provide. Fill your baskets with wheat. For the provision of winter. Now what we have to understand church. Is that when the spirit. He can. The Lord can. Refer to summer as summer. Winter as winter. Or he could refer to that as a season. That he is speaking of as summer and winter. So don't necessarily look for this winter. To have your provisions made. Because it's summer and you will need them this winter. For the seasons of God in the spiritual realm and the timeline could be different. He's telling us while summer refers to good times, winter can be the bad times when we need to look. This was very interesting to me, Joyce, Thursday. I talked about this Thursday night. And I was going to work, as I usually do, and Joyce and I know when she heads towards Winsburg and I head toward Corbin, we pray. And I prayed the whole trip down. That particular morning was different, Brad, because I prayed and asked the Lord for protection for Joyce and I and the things that we always ask Him for. I thank Him for my son's healing, Chris, every morning. I thank Him for that. I'm not leaving you out. Don't you worry. I thank you for that. I thank him that my son shall eat anything that he desires. That's the good will of God. So I got to pray on Thursday morning. And the spirit came upon me. <clears throat> tongues. All tongues. But he was giving me the interpretation as they were spoken. I'll be honest with you, at times, Joyce, I didn't even know whether I, yeah, whether I was between London and Corbin Marvel or Corbin Marvel and Corbin. But he made me aware at the right time. He always does. But in my car going to Corbin, and you need to listen to this very carefully, anything that God speaks to us we need to reverence. Amen. We need to respect. We don't need to hear it and dismiss it. Never dismiss it, James. We need to know that he loves us enough that he will speak to his people, Joyce. He loves his children. And the Lord spoke to me. And he said, there is a spirit of fear throughout the world. Remember, I talked about this Thursday night. And I told him Thursday night, Scrappy, that he gave me the name of that spirit. 
But I didn't feel comfortable enough Thursday night to reveal that name. When the Lord speaks to me, I always go to the Word of God. And I seek the Word of God. And I seek Him before I speak. But he said, there is a spirit of fear throughout the world. We know that, Joyce. Fear has overtaken the world. I am not the author of fear, saith the Lord. He's not the author of fear. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. He has said that so many times. And he says it in the word of God, Scrappy. Be not afraid. Now in the human form, Betsy, we're afraid. There's nobody in here cannot tell me that at one point that you wasn't afraid. Even as a Christian, we get afraid. But spiritually, do not be afraid. When we read the word of God, we know that he's in control. So be not afraid according to the scripture. In our spiritual being, do not be afraid. Even if the mind spikes that, we know spiritually that is not true. So he says, be not afraid. This is what is very interesting to me. And I think that, I hope and I pray that everyone hears this part. Pray and come up against this spirit. Come up against it, Scrappy. Now, a lot of people will say, God is warning us that something's coming forth. This is not a warning from God. This is a statement from God. This is a commandment to God, to His children, to come up against it. That's why we must pray. We must pray. If you know lots of times things can be halted, things can be changed, you will see things changing if we will pray. He says, humble ourselves and pray. And that's what he directed me. I found that very interesting that he said, pray and come up against this spirit. For the spirit of fear's name is Agos. He said that to me so many times in a probably a five mile stretch to make sure I understood that, that it was Agos. And he said to me, come up against that spirit. He led me to believe this spirit you must come up against. That this is a spirit of hierarchy. And if his people will humble themselves and pray and come up against this evil, this name is Agos, that is in a hierarchy, it'd be like dominoes falling beneath him. Why we know that is because Agos is plural. So that means this is not the only spirit. But this is, if you want to say it that way, the big guy. Come up against him. Come up against him. When you look up the definition of ego, it deals in money changing. The act or occupation of exchanging kinds or denominations of currency the premium or discount on foreign bills of exchange. Premium or percentage paid for the exchange of one currency for another as where gold is given for silver or metallic for paper currency. Now you remember he said this is a spirit in this world. A ghost is referring to to money exchange. So, you're saying, Fonda, does this mean we're going to have a crash of the market? And the Lord is warning us. Does this mean that money's going to get so tight we need to go pull all of our money out of the bank? No, I'm not telling you that. 
What I'm telling you is that he wanted me to speak this to the church. He spoke it to me. I'm going to obey him. I'm going to come up in prayer against that spirit, Scrappy, and everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Because he says, we do not have a spirit of fear. So, whatever comes forth, God's got it. But we must obey what he commands us to do. See, we don't know in the spiritual realm what our prayers can mean at that time. God can change that timeline anytime he pleases. He can just circle the events anytime he pleases. Sure as the moon shines and he just holds this on his finger, Scrappy. But we are not to sit and just say, well, God's got this. We are obligated. The ministers can correct me at any time if I'm wrong. We're obligated to pray unto the Lord. Aren't we, Scrappy? Seek his face. Seek his face. Seek his face. Satan is beneath us. This spirit is beneath us. We're children of God. So, there's only been two times in my whole Christian walk, and I'll say many people, there's been zero times that the Lord has ever revealed to me a name of a spirit. So to me, that's how important it was. Not only will you pray about the spirit of fear, but I want you to pray specifically about this one. He knows. He knows more than I know. He knows what's going to happen in a year, a minute, a second, 20 years from now. So I say, yes, Lord, and we pray. Amen. And do what God asks us to do. And then the rest God will take care of because we've obeyed him, Daddy. Yes. But I wanted to share that. Yes. I told Gary about it, and, and, and I knew it was, he revealed that word to me Thursday. But I did not, I could not reference it into what I, I just, <clears throat> everything I looked up is no, 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 no. He wasn't, that's not what he's talking about. So we, we need, we know it's hard times right now. We do need to be wise. Yes. We need to be wise. We need to be wise no matter who's it, a president. Yes. We need to be wise no matter what. We need to be wise and, and use knowledge and, and, and use some common sense. And, and then James, if the, uh, then if we get in trouble, we can come unto the Lord. We can come with clean hands, so to speak. If we are wise, children of God, and He expects us to be. But make no mistake, when I went through on that parkway, this is not something that's a little thing. It's not something that's like a little poodle. This is a great thing. We need to come up against it, come up with it with a fury. That's why He says to hold your ground. We must hold her gr our ground. And when I got to thinking about that, I thought, how dare, how dare the spirit of Agos think for one second he can come up against the children of God. Amen. Think about that. Yes. We need to command that to go. Amen. We need to command him to go. Especially now, Joyce, that he's been revealed. God revealed him to us. He thought enough of us to reveal him. Do you know why? I'm going out on a limb, and I hope not. I know why. Because he knew that this church would pray. Amen. He knew that we would pray. Yes. And he revealed that unto us. He knew that I would deliver it. And he knew that the church would pray. Amen. And to me, that, that is a wonderful thing that our Lord has confidence enough in us to know to do that. But I, I